We're going to get more live action underway here now. Another Coventry boy. Big night for him too. Good luck to him on his professional debut. The name is Jim Twight. Uh, as an amateur, three times an ABA light heavyweight finalist. So something by way of a pedigree to build on, hopefully. In the other corner tonight, Paul Bonson from Featherstone. You may recognise the name, former Featherstone Rugby League player. So he's quit Rugby League. A case of frying pan into the fire. Frying pan yeah. into the fire, isn't it? And it is fiery. 29 degrees, I'm told, in the arena here. John McDonald to complete the introductions. Well, sports fans and Sky fans, here we go then with a super middleweight contest. Firstly, and introducing to you, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the black trunks and weighed in at 12 stone and 10 pounds, taking part in his 26th professional contest. He's from Featherstone. Would you please welcome Paul Bonson. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the blue trunks trimmed with white. He weighed in at 12 stone, two and three quarter pounds. He comes to the ring as the former three-time ABA finalist, making his professional debut this evening. He's from the Premiership City of Coventry. Would you please welcome Jim Twain. Thank you to the bell from Birmingham is Roy Bicknell and referee in charge of the action from Northampton is Lee Cook. This is for three minute rounds. Punches clean and on target, and when I tell you to break, I want you to do so straight away and take a step back. Shake hands, good luck to you. Well, we've just about recovered from the excitement of Dean Pithy's devastating win, and here is another Coventry prospect. But at 27, is this too late for Jim Twight to be launching his professional career? A long-standing amateur, an England international, who burst into the limelight at this year's ABA semi-finals by knocking brilliant prospect David Hay cold with a left hand in the first round. He starts at super middle, but is up against more of a cruiserweight in Featherstone's Paul Bonson, who is almost a stone heavier than Twight. Bonson in the all-black trunks, Dwight the Southpaw in the blue with his name on the white waistband. This could be a lively pro debut for uh, Twight, although Bonson is a fair bit heavier, he's also fairly quick in his feet, he's moving around fairly sharply. Uh, so with a weight advantage and the uh, fella with a little bit of speed, this could give him a few problems. Not the biggest puncher though, Paul Bonson, hasn't a knockout to his name as yet in his 25 fights, but he's strong and solid as a rock. It's also possible Bonson's been fighting bigger guys as well. I mean, he does have a little bit of a weight advantage here, so that may obviously increase his uh, punching power a little bit. He did scale 13-7 against South African cruiserweight champ Sebastian Rothman in Dublin last month. So if Twight doesn't do what he did to David Hay, don't worry, because you're not expecting him to. He's a sensible organized sort of fighter Jim Twight from what we know about him and he'll just be taking his debut nice and carefully It's a nice box. He's going to the look of a KG southpaw about him. He's going to give some people some problems with that right jab. I think uh, Bonson's strength and weight advantage may be the, the biggest problems he's going to have to contend with here. Nice upright stance. 
from years and years in the amateurs, Jim Twight. He was an England international and reached the ABA finals three times. More live football for you this week. It's the semi-finals of the Copa America. Late Tuesday, early hours of Wednesday morning, Uruguay against Chile. And then live, the second semi-final between Brazil and Mexico, late Wednesday, early hours of Thursday morning. So a double header of international football this week on Sky Sports. Let's get back to Jim and Adam at ringside. Second of four at super middleweight, featuring the first time in a professional ring for Coventry's Jim Dwight in the blue shorts up against Featherstone's Paul Bonson. Bonson's only won five of 25, but he did take former WBO title challenger Roberto Dominguez of Spain the full eight rounds last September. He was a former Featherstone Rovers rugby league player and Great Britain under-21 representative. They said he was too small to compete in the big league. Oh, that was a good combination from Dwight there. I was about to say, not much moves, Paul Bonson. But that was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, but he landed a nice left hand just earlier in the round as well. He's beginning to pick his punches a little bit better. I mean, you have to account for the nerves, I suppose, in the first round of your professional debut. But he's settling down now nicely, picking his shots. His timing's improved a little bit. He's only been stopped once, Paul Bonston, and that was by Willie the Mighty Quinn. And that was on his feet. Big things expected from Jim Twight. He's 27, so he'll have to get his career moving quite quickly. He's decided to fight at super middle, scaling 12-2 here. Said it was too hard to make middle at amateur he wasn't heavy enough for light heavy so he fancies this weight and it is the glamour division looks awkward to fight doesn't he yeah as i say i can a kid you southpaw uh, he throws a kind of sloppy left hand lead from the southpaw stance he's going to have to tighten that up a little bit he be taking some chances with that, but he makes good use of the jab. He's quite good reflexes, and keeping in mind it's his first pro fight, he's doing fine. He's already drawn some blood from Paul Bonson's eyebrow, I think on the right side. Possibly from the accumulation of that right southpaw jab. As he, as he leads with the left hand, he, his left leg seems to follow through with it and he gets himself totally off balance. See, he, he's walking in there, he's doing that again there, he, he's, he's going to have to iron that out in the gym. Looks very comfortable though, Jim Dwight. Nice speed there. Uh... He's doing okay in his professional debut, Jim Dwight. In the corner there, Joe Monteg, who rates him very, very highly. Yeah, he's picking the punches nicely. He's not getting caught where with too many in return. I mean, he's tripping over his feet a couple of times, and kind of walking in after the punches. So we see, see the, the left uh, foot there following the left hand punch. A long way to go, but uh, can't be too critical in his first pro fight, obviously. He's doing fine. And as you said, must be nervous with his big crowd here. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's looking quite relaxed now. He's got his first couple of pro rounds behind him. He's won both rounds. He must be feeling fairly comfortable now. Jim Twight in the blue shorts, Paul Bonson in the black. Four three-minute rounds, super middleweight. Jim Twight is in control. 
Bonson can be rough. I think Bonson realises he's going to have to raise the pace. Uh, he's falling behind. The twice is a little bit too sharp for him, so he's going to have to get, really get involved. He just bulldozes his way in, and that's what he started doing. He's got to use his experience, really, in the professional ring. Only one win in the last 13 for Paul Bonson, but he did take Michael Bowen the six rounds back in March last year in Reading. for Dwight spent so long in the amateurs on his first Midlands ABA title as a middleweight in 93 he considered turning pro a couple of times but the right offer didn't come up he says it has now with Jess Harding who wants to move him along quite quickly Jess is going to have to get rid of that the left hand lead that he throws it's very dangerous he's going to get caught square as he moves up the, the, the couple of levels. Really, really it's uh, very reckless the way he throws it. Really big shock when he knocked David Hay out in the ABA's this year semi-finals. People rate David Hay really highly. Might well be going to the Olympics next year in Sydney with our heavyweight Audley Harrison and uh, it was a stunning punch unfortunately Dwight had to miss the final through illness so didn't have the chance there to win an ABA title flash of heads there uh, Bonson just boring his way he's really doing all he can do Bonson he's just trying to force the pace get close but not, not really having much success just tough and rugged really isn't he yep but it's, it's a fair test for a, for a pro debut. And Dwight's handling it okay. Occasionally he gets through Jim Dwight. And Bonson eating up that jam just a little bit more now as he tries to bulldoze forward. Well, there's a cut on Paul Bonson's left eye. How that was caused, probably, by the jabs landed from Jim Twight. Impressive start from Twight in his professional career. He's winning this, and winning this easily. Final round, Jim Twight from here in Coventry in the blue shorts in his first pro start against Paul Bonson from Featherstone carrying the big weight advantage the stronger man maybe physically but not the more talented boxer At 27, Jim, is it too late for Jim Twight to be starting his professional career? I think the slight problem with him is not so much his age, it's the fact that he has got a very amateur style. I think that's his problem. There's a lot of work needing done. As I say, when he, when he leads with the left hand, his left leg uh, follows through with the punch, he's going to get caught square. And what to do in his balance? Uh, he doesn't look at a devastating punch, although obviously he must carry some power with, with the amateur one you're speaking of. But there's a fair bit of work to do, so it's just if he's prepared really to, to, to muck in and really give it everything he's got, but he's going to have to give it his full attention. He, he doesn't have a natural pro style that uh, some amateur kids have, so he has a lot to do. He seems a very pleasant man, Jim Twight, and he's been sparring with Neil Simpson here in Coventry and up in Leicester. He's been working hard in the gym. I don't think it's fair uh, to, to judge him either on his pro debut against such a rugged, strong fellow. But I mean, he's boxing well. The, the, the right south pod jab could give a lot of people a lot of problems. But, uh, as I say, this is an untidy one to, to judge him in. And to be fair, we didn't think he would stop Paul Bonson because of Bonson's experience 
and uh, the way he can absorb pretty much anything thrown at him. It's quite possible against a better boxer, Twight would look better. When your opponent is doing you know, unusual things, he sometimes gets sucked into the, the same level and starts slugging it out rather than using your boxing ability. But he's winning it clearly, which is the main thing. Absolutely. The important thing tonight for Jim Twight is to notch up his first professional win. He's well on the way to do that. Just half a minute left of the fight. As Bonson bulldozes again forward, almost pushing Twight over those ropes. A little bit of a warning from the referee that uh, nothing too serious. The Featherstone fighter heading for his 16th defeat. And the Coventry man, we think, to make it one out of one. Indeed, a successful professional debut to the delight of the Coventry crowd and to the delight, obviously, of Jim Twight. Super middleweight to look out for. Tremendous amateur. Can he become a tremendous professional? We wait and see. But he didn't do a lot wrong, although, as you point out, Jim, there's one or two things to work on. Yeah, as I say, he's maybe got a lot of his amateur habits to get rid of, but that can be done fairly quickly when you start sparring with professionals in the gym night after night. But there's certainly a fair bit of talent there. A good amateur career is always nice to have behind you, a good grounding, a lot going for him, so I wish him luck. Ladies and gentlemen, after four fantastic rounds of boxing, referee Lee Cook has scored the contest. For Bonson, 36 points. For Twight, 40 points. Your winner, on his professional debut, Jim Twight. Let's show your appreciation for a very, very game boxer indeed, Paul Bonson. Well, Barry, do you want to pick out the positives first? Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's got quite a good style. Um, he'll be a good attribute to the super middleweight division. Uh, he's a bit old at 27. It's difficult to teach guys new, new things at that age. Uh, he does bring his left leg forward um, and throw himself off balance. He puts a great deal of effort into the left hand. Uh, but he's not a bad combination puncher. He can be taught to be a good combination puncher, but he needs to be taught right now. And he needs to get quality sparring. He needs to go maybe down to London for that. But uh, he's certainly got potential. That sounds like a rather mixed verdict, to be frank. Yeah, well, uh, you know, Carl is sitting on the fence, if you like, but he's 27 years old, Paul, so obviously he's left it a bit late, but I think he can be a force to be reckoned with. Well, let's hope it all goes very well for him. Good luck to Twight as he starts out on a tough, tough road.